of animation, and he used to think of only one company, Walt Disney, the home of that mouse with big ears, and all those films we loved as kids, like Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Dumbo, and Pinocchio. I wouldn't be telling a lie if I said they were the company that could do no wrong. But look closely under the hat here at Disney's HQ in California, and you'll find a company under pressure. In recent years, they've been overshadowed creatively by the likes of DreamWorks and Pixar. They need someone to save them, so now they're putting all their faith a superhero dog. When you get in trouble and you don't know right from wrong, give a little whistle. Give a little whistle. Yes, this is the place where Walt himself used to sit and preside over his empire. Everywhere you look, there are reminders of the glory days. But his newer company's pioneered computer generated animations. This old division of Disney kind of got left behind. It's a fact not lost on the people who work here. Was there a sense that Disney was starting to become a third to Pixar, to DreamWorks, and that this was a chance to, to put Disney back on the map? I think a little bit. I mean, uh, we'd had some films that hadn't really sat with audiences as well as some of our earlier films, and I think in some cases we maybe were starting to steer off track. So how do you get things back on track? Well, by borrowing a trick or two from Pixar, the recent cartoon kings who Disney actually bought a few years ago. This movie, Bolt, is the first attempt to bring Disney bang up to date. And to make sure they succeed, they've even brought in John Lasseter, the man who created Pixar and wears some lovely shirts. Bob Iger, the CEO of, of Disney, you know, brought me in and said, this, this is what I need you to do, is, is to make Disney animation great again. There's this unbelievable heritage that no other studio in the world has. This is the studio Walt Disney started. And to be leading this studio, I'm so proud. You hungry? Like that? Perfect. Bolt features the voices of John Travolta and Miley Cyrus, but here the stars are overshadowed by the importance of the film itself. <laughs> it's a fact not lost on animator and director Mike Gabriel, who's been at the company for almost 30 years. We're sat in front of the, the greatest so, animation icon. I mean, is there a sense now that with Bolt, with the new films, that we are entering a new golden era of Disney? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, we hope to get Mickey back in action in some cartoons in the future, too. Um, so we want to go back and, and bring him to life again. So the company that was founded here 85 years ago in a garage for $500 has a new lease of life. Once again, the team are so happy, they all presumably really are whistling while they work. Steve Hargrave, Sky News.